Hey, what's happening, guys? Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to Rules for Rebels. Uh, sharing a crypto story with you guys this morning. Uh, I happen to see this on Google. Coinbase Pro adds support for Stellar Lumen. So uh, it's been a while since I made crypto content. I think I made a, a crypto video uh, within the past couple weeks here, and maybe a month or six weeks ago, uh, I released a video that I made way back in maybe August, kind of talking about my feelings of crypto, uh, kind of where I'm sitting, kind of things like that. You know, back in... Uh, 2016 2017 i was doing a lot of content on crypto i was really kind of heavily involved in crypto i, I was day trading cryptos i was going to uh you know sometimes two or three you know bitcoin or cryptocurrency meetups a week here in chicago and uh when prices kind of tanked and, and i was kind of kicking myself for not taking more profits uh you know the space got kind of boring um a lot of the interest in crypto went away and, uh, you know, I kind of tuned out. I, I really haven't been like actively involved in crypto going back to probably like late February, early March of, of 2018. Uh, and I think I talked about this before, but I was going on a, a trip down in, down to Mexico with my family. And I was like, you know, at that point, prices hadn't slid as bad as they eventually did, but prices were down big. And I was just kind of depressed by the whole thing. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy my vacation, kind of tune out. And, and I just never really came back to it. Uh, you know, every now and again, uh, I'll see a, uh, I actually unsubscribed from all the subreddits, kind of stopped following forums, but you know, occasionally I'll see a news article or something. Um, and it's kind of how I saw this one. I have been paying a little bit of, of attention, maybe checking in on, uh, uh, coin market cap every couple weeks. I, I see Bitcoin's kind of flirting with four grand. Um, we do have the, uh, the halving coming up, I believe in, uh, what August of, of this year. Uh, so that could kind of bring a little bit more excitement back into the space. I, I've been pretty tuned out. Uh, but I did see this, and what, what kind of made me interested in this was I, I was a big uh, big Stellar Lumens proponent. You know, I think back at that time, I was real big into, like, Stellar Lumens and Navcoin. Um, and Stellar Lumens, for anyone who doesn't know, sort of similar to Ripple. They're kind of sister coins. Ripple's very centralized. A lot of people say Stellar Lumens is kind of like the the more free, the more true cryptocurrency, uh, the more decentralized version of Ripple. And then they were kind of competing coins for a while, and Ripple wound up taking off, uh, even though a lot of people in the crypto community said it's not even truly a cryptocurrency because uh, the founders hold so much and, and, and it's, you know, such a centralized coin. Um, another kind of funny thing about this is, you know, ha had this happened uh, back in 2017, we probably would have seen the price of Stellar go up like hundreds of percent. Um, I, I think upon this news, the price is up like 7%. You know, the, I, I don't think, I think like in terms of the wide number of people, not as many people are interested in crypto. Uh, a lot of people kind of got burned by crypto and kind of tuned out. Uh, and the space has just been kind of boring for a while. Um, also, you know, Coinbase has, at one point, Coinbase was really kind of the only gateway to cryptocurrency. You know, if you wanted to turn fiat into Bitcoin to then go buy, you know, something on Bittrex or Poloniex or Binance or whatever else, uh, you know, Coinbase was pretty much the only place to get on board. I know you had CoinMama and some of these other sites, but Coinbase was really kind of the only serious company. Um, and then later Gemini came out, but, you know, at first Coinbase only had Bitcoin and Ethereum, then they rolled out Litecoin, but, you know, Coinbase kind of being the major exchange and, uh, and only dealing with these three coins, it was like a huge deal when Bitcoin Cash got added. And even after they started adding other coins, you know, we'd still see prices go up 30%, 50%. Um, you know, I think now Coinbase Pro is holding so many coins. There's also a lot of other um, kind of legitimized cryptocurrency exchanges now that it's not such a big deal when a new coin gets added. But shit, man, you guys remember back in like 2017, like a new coin gets added to, to Binance or Bittrex. I mean, you're, you're, you're cashing in on a big payday. Um, upon the news of Stellar Lumens getting added, I, I think it's up like 7%. Um, so Coinbase Pro, uh, the professional offering of United States-based cryptocurrency exchange and wallet service Coinbase, has announced support for Stellar Lumens, or XLM, in a blog post on March 13th. Uh, per the post, Coinbase will now accept deposits of XLM for around 12 hours before enabling full trading. Coinbase notes that after establishing a sufficient supply of XLM, it will open trading pairs in US dollars, Euro, and Bitcoin phases. XM XLM trading will go through three stages before enabling full trading, including limit, market, and stop orders. The stages involve transfer only, post only, and limit only. The first two stages will allow users to transfer XLM to Coinbase Pro accounts and post limit orders, while the subsequent one will enable customers to match limit orders. XLM will initially be available for customers in Coinbase supported jurisdictions. Expect the state of except <laughs> expect I don't think they maybe mean except the state of New York. New York's always strict on everything. Uh, Coinbase may add additional jurisdictions at a later time. Last month, Coinbase Pro added support for Ripple XRP that joined already listed Ethereum Classic, Basic Attention Token, and privacy-oriented altcoin Zcash ZEC. 
In the past, these tokens were added to Coinbase Pro before support for them was eventually extended to Coinbase.com and its apps for Android and iOS. The recent addition of XRP to Coinbase was long awaited by the crypto community. The coin reacted promptly to the news about, Coinba about it being listed on Coinbase Pro, turning out to be one of the biggest winners on that day. However, a report by blockchain research firm Dyer stated that XRP breaks one of Coinbase's requirements to be listed on the platform. Uh, in its digital asset framework, Coinbase stipulates that the ownership stake in a token retained by the team is a minority stake, will, according to DR, Ripple holds around 60% of the supply in escrow with a release schedule. So that's always been one of the, the big complaints about Ripple. Uh, at press time, XLM has gained around 3.94% on the day and is still trading around uh, you know 10.8 cents. Um, and I think at this point, it's maybe up 7%, but, you know, not nearly what we would have expected if this happened a couple of years ago. Let's see. Coinbase added support for Stellar Lumens, but will it work? Uh, at first, Coinbase should stop supporting it. I doubt it will go back. Okay. So, yeah, you know, I know it's been a while since we did a crypto story. I'm not sure. For whatever reason, this one jumped out at me just because Stellar used to be a coin that I liked. Uh, let me know for those of you guys who are still following crypto, what do you think of this? Is this kind of, you know, who cares at this point? Uh, or are you excited about this? Uh, let me know. Drop a comment if you have anything to say. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys.